morning everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are wondering where I am, I'm currently at East Midlands Airport, checking in to the Tui section. We're off to Greece, a um, little island called Zandi or Mik um, Zikinos, I think it's called. Um, currently got my airport outfit on, just some comfies because I want to be comfortable on the plane. Um, we're nearly at check-in, so I need to get my passport out and whatnot. And then we're heading over to the departure lounge, which is over there. And then hopefully get some breakfast and whatnot because I am tired. Um, but we'll run out. <laughs> How much did it weigh? <gasps> Oopsies. Oh. I'm four kilos over. We have now just come right through security sort of thing. Um, my bag got searched because I didn't put my thing on the side in the zip. But they've got like Starbucks and on there. It's quite big. They've got a JD and just there. A shop, like a holiday shop if anyone wants something. They've got some gates up there. Okay, so we're down the departure area at the minute and we've just ordered some food from the Proof 65 so we've ordered some avocado which has just come so it's smash avocado and poached egg Simon has the same and John's got his um, eggs and toast rubber egg and toast so we're gonna eat this and um, Simon got a beer and I got some juice because I can't hack it um, but yeah, so we're currently in here at the minute, and then once we've had this, hopefully the gate should have been opened because the gate's open at seven. So the gate's open in five minutes, I think. And then once we once we close the gate, we can head out to the departure and have a little look around and see what's in the shop before heading down and boarding the plane. So very exciting, very exciting. on the plane at the minute. I think I might be going to sleep. Um, just because I'm tired. Um, <coughs> we're sat together. Um, but yeah. I'm just going to log off now. So we're going to be taking off soon. We fly at 7.40, 7.25 at the minute. Um, yeah, I've just zipped off because I've slopped on the train <laughs> Um, yeah, it's cloudy at the minute, but I think it's sunny in Greece at the minute. I've never been to Greece, but I'll let you know when we land there. But I'll let you know when we should, yeah, I'll let you know when I take off. finally arrived at Greece. So Zanti is where Zanti Airport at the minute. So we're coming to get one luggage. I've just come to the toilet, but I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. This is like my hoodie that I got. Um, as you can see on the back, I've just got these on and obviously my whole face coat on. So I'm just gonna go and grab my suitcase now and see where Simon and John are. So I'll catch you guys when we get to the hotel. But we've got the Chewy bus outside to get with transfers. And in regards to the breakfast as well, the breakfast was £8 at the airport, at East Midlands Airport, for our um, crushed avocado. And Simon's dad's was like £4, so it wasn't too bad. It came like 30 quid in the end for like three breakfasts and two, three drinks. So it's not too bad.
we've just arrived in the hotel, so we've had to leave luggage at the hotel lobby because they said, oh, we're just going to get food it's going to close at 2. 2.30. So I've got this. Simon's got a complexion. John's got a complexion. A complexion on the plate, like diff a different amount. Yeah. Complexion. Finally arrived in my room. My room number's one, two, three. If anyone wants to know, I'm sitting at the Palace Hotel in San E. Um, I'll show you the guys the bathroom. It is quite small and spacious, but it's just recently been refurbished the full hotel. So this is the standard shower. Which they've got like the oh, they've got shower gel and conditioner. It's good. Um, like the panels. Then they've just got like a normal toilet. And you've got that there. I like the door really bad. And then what they've got here, you've got coat hangers. But have you noticed the coat hangers? The coat hangers are like cardboard. How amazing is that? So we've got cardboard. We've got dress robes as well, which is good. We've got towels. We've got a sink there, which is nice. Then you've got tea and coffee facilities and water. I don't know if we've got a fridge. Have we got a fridge? Yes, we've got a fridge. Is it stocked? Probably not, but we'll have a little look. And then we've got a single bed. Okay, so and you have to move the other bed to get in the fridge because there's barely no room. But there's nothing in it, so we we'll probably need to stock it. Like, put, uh, maybe put the water in or something. Um, just put the bed back. Um, they've got nice plug sockets as well, which we've got. We'll try. Eee, <gasps> bugger, I've brought the bed. So I have found a hairdryer. It's just down here in this drawer. Um, they have got drawers. They've got more towels. They've got a little um, toilet roll there as well. So they've got a hairdryer and they've got like disposable flip flops, like ones you use at the spa. And then they've got nothing in here, but I've not seen an iron or an iron board at the moment. I probably need to ask reception because most of me clothes like, do need ironed, meaning like a certain dress or certain. Um, there's a TV on the wall. Um, and obviously it's quite nice and you've got these for like cover on the night time so you don't like get the sun but this is the room so yeah and obviously you've got a little bit of a terrace bit of here we can sit on the morning with the cupboard but the view is not that great it's all right but the back around the back where the pool is there's some um rooms where they've got like a little pool is it like a little infinity pool isn't it downstairs where you thought oh well, that looks nice but we've got this one this is not too bad for a week so it's not bad when i'm going to get dressed down put my costume on look how red i am already right catches catches later i want to get my costume on and sort my stuff out but so we are currently out for dinner um fully dressed um on a blue knitted dress for tonight along with my heels and I've gotten some food at the restaurant the restaurant's just down there which I'll show you guys later probably tomorrow morning now and um, the entrance is just around there when you, when you check in but yeah so I'm digging this and obviously I've got these clips from Primark which I'll tag down below if I can So tonight is a group night. Oh, Joanna Christina. I can't, my knees are buggered. <laughs>
just asked for an omelette, he's making it. Um, really good. He mixes it in there. I'm just gonna put it down there. So we're going to be a bacon. What? On my plate. Today's weather. I might have a swim later um, just to get some lengths in, just because the fact is, if, I'm actually, if I was home, I would, I would go for a swim at the gym. But currently, I'm not home. I'm on holiday. So, um, just gonna get some um, swimming done and whatnot. Get, probably get a few lengths in, even though the pool's bloody freezing. We'll try and get some, try and get some lengths in. And then I think we're going to the beach on Saturday because Simon wants to watch the match because Newcastle are playing. Um, I think it's Leeds, Leeds on Saturday. So we'll probably go to the beach on Saturday and have a little wander down the shops and what during the week. So keep you guys updated, but. I'm really enjoying myself, it's just nice. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's just like nice in between, but I would prefer if it was a bit more sunny, but, but it's, it's starting to get out now though, though. It's starting to get out. So when we arrived yesterday at the hotel, we had to pay um, 21 euros, that is like the holiday tax like for, like, for your room throughout the week. So it's like three euros a night, basically. Um, so we paid that, well John paid it, um, and then obviously we don't have to pay anything when we leave. Um, but yeah, I've just had lunch in the restaurant at the top there. Lunch is between one, it's up there, just up there. Lunch is between one and half two. So, and then obviously breakfast is between, I think it's eight and ten. And I think main meals is from like five, like onwards I think. Um, I'm not too sure, but I will link it down below. Uh, but yeah, the hotel's really nice so far. Um, I've got myself a blue lagoon, a beach shirt. I slept on it in the restaurant, so that I need to wash later. So it's British travel wash, that's good. So I'm gonna slip up and get some sun. Okay guys, so I have come back to the hotel room. I have been showered, As you, if you're wondering what's on my face, I have put the moisturizer primer on my face from Primark, it's £4.50, I've still got the price on it. Um, I have had my hair washed. Use the hairdryer in the hotel room. I didn't bring my own, but the hotel's hairdryer, you've got to keep a hold of it because if you don't keep a hold of it, it just goes off. Um, so I'm just going to do some makeup tonight, dress up, because mine and Simon have been together for three years today, the 9th of May. Um, so me and Simon met on Tinder back in 2020. Um, but yeah, and we've been together ever since. And this is three years together, so. Yeah, that's all in my face. And now that I've got the primer on my face, I'm going to go with some brow cream that I tend to use from Morphe. The colour is the shade Mocha. Um, I've got everything in this makeup bag. No wonder my case weighed more than 15 kilos, but never mind. Um, I tend to just put this on my brow and then just like brush it, like so. I don't put a lot on, but I'm going to put a bit on tonight because it's my and Simon's anniversary tonight. We've been together for three years, as I've already said. Um, so I want to look a bit decent. Um, they've gone out to find the bar for, for Saturday because Newcastle and Leeds are playing. And we want to go out for it because apparently if you are coming here to this hotel at Palace Hotel in Greece, in Zanty, there's no tape, they don't have any TVs on for the football or anything. If you're a sports fan, they don't have a TVs on. You have to go venture out and find a sport bar. So that's what they've gone to do to find it, basically. So yeah, that's not Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the shade NW15. It's the concealer from MAC. It's the Pro Long Wear that I, I use all the time. Uh, I know it's quite heavy makeup, but I like it. I'm using the Jeffree Star um, concealer brush that I got from Morphe as well a few years ago. Do need a new one, but I haven't got around to doing it. Uh, I'm just gonna wear simple brown tones for tonight because I can't really be bothered doing like glitz, glitter. But anyway, I don't have any glue to put the glitter on, so. Um, but yeah, I was gonna do just natural colours tonight, like nudie colours. 
And then I'm going to use the sponge that Gemma got me for my birthday from work. Shout out to Gemma. So she got this sponge. This is amazing. So I tend to like damp it before I put it on and blend it in into my brow. But yeah. And then I think it's bingo night tonight. So I'm hoping to win because I never win anything at all. Never, ever win anything. Um, but yeah, should be good. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you some facts about the hotel room. So we came yesterday and then obviously I've shown you guys the room and we found out there's no safe for like keeping stuff like safe. So what we've had to do is we've had to put stuff like in bags um, and like hide stuff like passports and stuff. I've been putting stuff in like in secret compartments in my ham handbags. Yeah, but there's no, there's no bags, there's no iron, but they do have an iron at reception. You just have to ask for it um there's no iron board and just that's just the fact there's no iron there's no iron board and there's no safe and the aircon in the room um doesn't work properly so we need to go to reception about that but other than that the room's quite nice for what it is and how much we paid we didn't really pay that much was under 500 pound for the week it's not too bad at all so that's done Okay, so the makeup palette I am using, I've brought two, I've brought the Nikita one that I wear, use all the time and the one I've got is the 18T Truth or Day palette from Morphe, I tend to get my makeup palettes from Morphe, um, I haven't got any other makeup palettes, well I have, I'm telling a lie, I've got Essen Lauder that I have got in the house and number 7, I'm just going in with um, that shade just there, um, it's just in like a nudie colour, make sure I've got nothing on there, I'm um, just going to go all over the crease, and just round uh, but yeah the hotel's really nice i think it's a three star i think it's just recently been like refurbished and we find it like all right there's only one restaurant in which does your your lunch your breakfast and your dinner and your snacks so there's only one restaurant if you're all right with that and one pool we're only here for the week so it's not too bad and the weather hasn't been that bad either so um, but then I know this looks bad, but we'll sort it out once I've done my foundation. So basically I use two shades of foundation. So I use the MAC and I use number 7. So I'm just going to blend these two together because obviously with me having a little bit of a tan at the minute, I am a bit red and yeah, my freckles are out. I tend to use two. Um, and also Simon's updated me that they found the players but it's only one kilometre away if you're in this hotel. It's only one kilometre away. I don't know how far that is because I'm not very good with maths. So I'm going to take the sponge again. I have wet I have wet it. I've like, so it's moist. I know people don't like that word. But then I tend to put it on the sponge and then put it on my face. And then, and then I apply that one and do the same process. And then I blend it in. Because... Yeah, with my analogy, you're going to be two different, different shades of foundations, aren't you? Because you're tanning. Never mind. Okay, as I'm blending it in, I'm putting this one on the sponge. This one's got a pump, but that one doesn't. You have to buy the pump separate, unless you buy the other one um, that has the pump. I think that one's a bit more. But anyway, for the matte foundation, I think that's still expensive for what it is. Um, so we're just going to cover up this burn bit here. I don't know if you can actually see, but... But the being cloudy today, I've still burnt my head, even though I've had cream on, thinking, oh yeah, it's not going to be, like, hot. I put bloody oil on, haven't I, today? Thinking, oh yeah, the sun's not going to be out, Christina. Yeah. Bloody burnt my forehead. <laughs> oh, God. And then just dab it in, basically. And then I just set powder underneath to let that bake and um, once I've added the concealer on top under my bags. Okay, as you can tell, I'm still blending in. Um, so I'm just near the door at the minute because so I'm boiling in the room because obviously the air con's not working. Um, as you can see, I have put my foundation on. I'll come a bit closer to the door. Um, but you can still see my freckles. I am quite freckly. My dad's me dad's freckly. I take after my dad for being freckly. Um, but yeah, so I tend to like just dab underneath as well. I think what I'm gonna do next, I think I'm gonna like straighten my hair because um yeah, I'm using my mum's JH Day straightener, so I've got them. And then once I've done that, I'm just gonna put the concealer underneath my bags 
And then once I've done that, I can like put mascara on and whatnot. I put that bag up there. And then make sure like it's all blended in because you don't want a, an, an orange line on your bloody neck, do you? When you're out and in a different country. Okay, so I was going to put on some, um, oops, some a foundation press for like my bronzer that I got from Primark a few years ago. It's all gone. I mean, like I've had like wipe my bag and like take all my makeup out. So then I've put me um me powder on me setting powder. So I use the translucent light loose powder. Um, which is the number seven one, as you can see. Use that one. I need that on for a bit, but now I'm going to have to just put on bloody blusher. The blush that I am going to be using is the Eston Lord. I want. I've had this for a while. Oh God, I need new makeup. As you can see, I use this all the time. Um, but yeah, if I don't have that, that's going in the bin. Oh, bloody gutted. Absolutely gutted. But now to leave that on, I'm going to do some mascara. And Okay, so I've just taken off the powder, the translucent powder, and I'm blended it in. Now I'm using the Urban Decay Mascara. Um, I tend to use this one that I got off Helen for Christmas, because obviously it's a bit clunky, so I put it in this one because I like it, and I've also like the Benefit one because I like how it goes on. So I'm just putting that on, and then I'm going to be using the MAC Black Eyeliner. This is one I wear all the time. And then I think what I want to do is I want to use my blusher and then I'm going to go in with a red lip once I have my outfit on and my hair straightened. Um, I got this one from MAC and the colour that I used for this one is Ruby Woo. I think they're like £17 or £20 but I got this one in London when I went with Simon last year for my birthday. When I went to see uh, Moulin Rouge. If anyone, just want to go and, if anyone wants to see Moulin Rouge in London, be my guest and go because it's Bloody amazing. Simon thought he was at the strip club, but he wasn't. He was at Moulin Rouge. He didn't know what it was about, so. Okay, guys, so now I'm on the middle of straightening my hair. So I have put the um, hair straightening serum on my hair. It's just to stop it from going um, frizzy. I just want it to complete straight tonight. Um, I'm using the bed head. It's Tiggy, and it's called Some Light Hot. It smells of coconuts when you put sun cream on before you go on a sunbed, um, before you go on holiday. It smells like that. And I'm also using the GHD hair straighteners. These were my mum's. I'm just going to straighten my hair all the way through. And I'll come back to you when my me, when me hair is done. Because I need to part partition the sides of my fringe. Because I got my fringe cut in December. And I'm trying to grow it out again. So I'll probably put them to the side. And I'll come back to you when I'm done. Because I need to put my lipstick on as well. And my shoes. Okay, so what? I'm all sorted. So these are the pants I'm wearing for tonight. I did get these from the charity shop, by the way. Um, heels I got from ASOS and white top I did get from the charity shop as well. So, and bag for tonight. And it is, it's bingo night. Bingo, bingo, bingo. So, yeah, all sorted. So we're off out now for some food. guys so it is wednesday afternoon at the minute i didn't vlog at all this morning just because i was so tired and also been woken up by a few people last night and um, which i had to come out the room last night and just say like can you just like keep the noise down um i've currently got a bit of time going on at the minute um got my costume on from the charity shop it was 10 pound um not seeing it this one at the minute because it is raining but it's gone in just a little bit the sun's gone in however it was nice before. Um, I've just not on, had some food at the restaurant. Had some like picky food. I had like a wrap. Had a bit of salad with it. Bit of coleslaw. Coleslaw's really nice, yeah. Um, I'm the only one that likes coleslaw. I don't think Simon likes it, but yeah, it's it's raining a little bit. You can feel it. So I've got one of these up at the minute. Yeah. So in regards to the beach and whatever, we we have decided to go to the beach tomorrow for a few hours just so I can vlog it so what they and stuff and whatnot but apparently people were saying yesterday that they paid for two drinks at the beach and it cost them 20 29 euros so basically 29 pounds for two drinks which I think is a bit of a rip off but then seeing that though you are at the beach in a nice country and technically you you would pay that in town if you went somewhere nice um anyway um, I'm currently reading a book at the minute it's 50 shades 
Um, just trying to get into it. Like I say, the brook's really slow. Yes, it's got a bit of sex in it. However, um, struggling to read it. I should have bought me Harry Potter book. I want to read that, but I'm trying to read a bit of it. I'm trying to read a chapter, and I've read a bit. Once the rain stops, the sun should be getting out again later, and I should be tanning a bit more. But yeah, once I get ready late, I think tonight, for instance, I think about wearing my shorts. Um, short to my Ralph Lauren top. I think tonight with my Ugg loafers, I think. I'm not too sure, but we're just going to see if it goes well. Um, but yeah, it's raining. But it is, it's not cold with the rain, it's quite warm. But like I say, I am a bit breezy, because obviously I've, bit, I've tanned a little bit, so I, I do feel the breeze a little bit. But they've got um, Glianne Rhymes on at the minute. I might get demonetised, but I'm not particularly bothered. It's a good song. And at the minute, drink-wise, this afternoon, I've gone for a tequila sunrise. I think tonight, I think as well, I might try the red wine and see what that's like. Because apparently, it may help us fall asleep. <laughs> Also found out the time for the bar. The bar opens at half ten in the morning. It should open at half ten. I think it opened at eleven o'clock this morning, um, and it closes at eleven o'clock at night. So if anyone wants to come here, the old bar is only open from then onwards. It's not open twenty four hours. If you want to go for drinks elsewhere, there is the the strip just down. Turn left here and go down, and then obviously when you get there, you turn left again, and then turn right, and then you're on the strip. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go down there. Yeah, as you can see, I'm back from the pool. This is the first actual day we've actually like sunbathed. It rained a little bit today. Um, I did get this bather from the charity shop. This was £10. This is a 36G, so it doesn't really sit well on my cup. I'm a 36 double F. Um, it is from Boat Avenue. It was originally um, 48, but I'm back from the pool area. Have slightly burnt, just a tad. So I'm gonna go and have a shower and I'm gonna get dressed. I'm not putting much makeup on today because I can't be bothered. Um I am bloated due to the bread and pasta. Um so I'm just gonna go have a shower and I'll be back once I'm dressed and ready. I'm just putting a tiny bit of makeup on today because I don't think anything else is on. Um but yeah, I'm gonna go and get dressed. Forgot to mention we are out. So this I'm on some red wine. So I'm gonna join her on BL. Cheers, happy Wednesday. So on my route to the beach today, it's a bit cloudy. As you can see, we've had breakfast. It wasn't much for breakfast because we woke up quite late. We woke up like 10 past nine. Um, even though the sun isn't out properly, I'm still like, ah. Is it a kilometre? So what? To the beach. No, about a mile. Okay, so it's about a mile and a mile back. So you do like at least two in a bit. There and back. And plus, we're going to have a look at the shops as well to see what we can get people from home. Um, they've got a British bar. They've got Sky Sports, so if anyone wants to know. So let's just check that out. It's called Summertime. And it's got all the live doodars on. It goes all the way down. It goes all the way up. I think the sun's trying to get out as well, guys. So, yay. We've just passed a cocktail park called Cocktails and Dreams, it's like a shop here. Yeah. Loads of nice stuff. That's that bad. The shop down there was quite nice as well. Thought, like that big one. Now at the beach, we're just going to head down this way.
seaweed, seaweed. <laughs> Okay, so I've come in from the pool area due to the fact it's freezing today, it's cloudy. Um, I thought it would have perked up because obviously it was brightening up when we were going to the shops. However, it hasn't. So I've got my pyjamas on. I've got a tiny bit of a tan, but my chest area is calming down. It is a little bit sunburnt, so I'm pleased today it is a bit cloudy. However, I wish it would have been a bit more sunnier so I could get a bit more of a tan. However, it's not. So I was a bit cold on the sunlight just so I said to Simon and John, I'm just going to go for a lie down for a bit before tonight. Um, we've been to the shops. Um, on there, you can see I've been to the shops. And also one of the shops had Cheetos and they were two euros. And I got five fridge magnets for one, one euro, one euro eighty, I think. And they're really good. Okay. So I've had my nap, I've had about two and a bit hours sleep. I've got dressed for tonight and I'm out. I've got my polka dot pants on and a white top. I did have the beige pants on but I changed. Um, just because they were itchy inside which I didn't realise. Um, they were for Georgia Asda but hey ho. We've got a red wine. Which is really good out here, it's been nice. Um, Simon has a 
vodka, lemon soda, and John's got a beer. We're waiting for the bingo at the minute. As you can see, there's balloons being put up there. So apparently, you pop them and I think, don't you pop them, don't you? And like, you, you win stuff. Okay guys, so today has been really, really nice, as you can tell by my face. Um, I've just had a shower, I've just dried my hair with the hairdryer here. Um, and this is the hairdryer, you've just got to keep hold of the button, because if you don't keep hold of the button, it's not going to work. Um, so for tonight, I think it's live music tonight at the hotel. Um, but I think we've met a couple last night who were really, really nice. And they had said, oh, to come to the karaoke bar, so I think we're going to go on the strip later tonight and go at the karaoke bar and um, the weather's been amazing today i'm not gonna lie but i think it's cloudy tomorrow but peas have tanned today as you can see it's still nice as you can hear the um the peacocks in the distance to some people's music um so yeah so i'm just gonna curl my hair tonight i think i'm gonna wear my pink dress i'll show you guys and for tonight would be like my pink holster one it is strappy but i can't wear a bra with it because i don't have a strapless bra so the thing i will, will be wearing will be like my nip covers um just my nip covers and hopefully they'll do the trick along with my brown sandals i've got me curlers on at the minute so i'm gonna like curl my hair put my face cream on put after sun on um, Simon and John are still at, around the pool area, so I'll wait until they come back, but I'm going to just curl my hair, make sure my hair's done, and then I can just whack my dress on. Um, but the only thing is, I forgot bloody pink knickers. I don't wear the dress, so I'm going to have to wear like, white knickers. I'm going to curl the ends of my hair and then pin back the fringe, I think. Um, so I'll see you when I'm dressed. <laughs>
we'll sing all together. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Yeah, 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 yeah. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's doors. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's doors. some lunch and um, we're all dressed to go and watch the match at players bar and um, we didn't go out for karaoke last night we just stayed and watched the live music and um, just the fact i couldn't be bothered really after i'd been sunburned i've got simon's top one it's a bit big so i've just like tucked it in my shorts i've got my trainers on today due to the fact it is cloudy and a bit chilly so i thought put the shorts on put the top on I kind of slept at dinner, I thought try and wipe with a napkin and I've like marked the top, but never mind. Um, but yeah, I've got two colours as well in my hair. So I'll probably nip to the shops as well and have a little look round at half time. But yeah, that's just the outfit. I didn't vlog last night because I was a bit tipsy and I was shivering because I was cold. I'm arriving at players. <sighs> If you go in and ask for, I forgot their name, but if you ask for someone, they'll tell you, but they'll put a match on for you. So I've come into Players Bar, I didn't want a beer, so I ordered myself a cocktail. This was a watermelon daiquiri, as you can see they've got fresh watermelon in it. This was 10 euros, it's two daiquiris in one, so it's a pint of a daiquiri. It was really, really nice, it had different flavours, you could have raspberry, uh, any, any flavour. As you can see they have different matches on, over in the corner they had... Celtic and Rangers um, in that corner and then in the other corner which we're sitting in they were going to put on the Leeds and Newcastle match and then other matches if people wanted it on but obviously it was cloudy so we weren't particularly bothered but we had a good time. For Simon got a pint and these were five euros each so in my case they weren't too bad price. Restaurant in Greece, so on the high street. I just ordered myself a Danica kebab and it was three euros fifty for Danica kebab with chips. So, yeah, it's been happened. in and I've got this, so it's added chips, kebab, pita bread, and everything for three euros and fifty. Three euros fifty, this was back home, it would be like over seven pounds for your chips because you have to pay extra, but I'm gonna try and give this a go.
so we are out. We've had lunch, well, slash dinner. We're waiting for the disconnect to start, but it's not on yet. We don't know when it's going to start, do we? So, the part it's meant to start at now is 24 minutes late, so. Just drink some red wine. Um, dress of tonight, I'm wearing Abercrombie. Um, I couldn't get the other dress on that I got from Vintage. Um, it was from top shop originally but I couldn't get that on so I've had to go with this one the dress that I couldn't get on was medium this is medium this is a medium petite uh, but I couldn't get the other one on for some reason but this is medium so this one on got little drop earrings in a bit of makeup on I do it the mail last night so I was just going to the bar um, but yeah cheers just to give you guys a quick update so we are finally home we got home at 10 o'clock tonight we've just been pottering in the house just like taking the stuff out the car and whatnot we got to east midlands airport this afternoon at four o'clock the flight was delayed about 30 minutes but in the end the flight got caught up and whatnot so we we're only like five minutes apart which was all right um so yeah so we got picked up really early this morning we got picked up at just before 10.45 this morning, so like 10.40 this morning. So I managed to have myself a quick beer before we left. And we arrived in East Midlands Airport this afternoon at four. And then had had some tea and whatnot, had some fish and chips. And then we managed to pick up the dog and now we're home, basically. So it's been quite a long day travelling. So from 10.45 to like 10 o'clock tonight. Yeah, we are finally home. Okay, so basically on Tui, that's who we flew with, they had deals on the plane, so all fragrances were 20% of of the prices that they had on the plane. So they had that price and then had the high street prices on as well, but then they also had additional 20% off all fragrances. That's only on until the 31st of May. If you are going away with Tui, they are doing that. And also as well, they're doing like a hot drink with the um Cadbury's little fingers for five pound that was quite a good deal we done that as well and also they did a, a an alcoholic drink um deal as well where they would do like two bottles like so like if you got like a liter of whiskey and you got a liter of vodka it would be 25 pounds so they were doing that on the plane when we went out there so i got so simon got a bottle of So he did originally get. So he originally did get a bottle of whiskey and a bottle of vodka. But with the plane not having much stock of the whiskey, we give the whiskey to John because he prefers it more. But so Simon's got two bottles of whisk. Sorry, two bottles of vodka, and then we got some ouzo, which is the shots that we got out there. Oh my god, them shots! Oh, they are nice, but. They just blow your head off but like i say um we are home and we've had it we've had a really good time we've met some lovely people from manchester um who i will mention on yeah we've met karen deanie um on holiday like really nice people and met mary we met someone called mary we met someone called annie just blue like just bloody lovely um but like i say um i am going to be going to bed I have finished off a cup of tea, 
Okay guys, over and out. So I'm going to leave this video here. Um, it's been a long day and I am knackered. So I will be editing this video tomorrow. But I, like I say, if you do like this video, please comment down below and like and subscribe. And hit that notification button too. Also as well, I will link the hotel in the comments below where we stayed. But by the way, when we have stayed there this week, they are getting in preparation for the, for the actual season starting. Because when we went it's not this the season the season's like going to be starting so just bear that in mind no so they have redecorated the hotel as well so they were still doing bits and bobs when we were there but like i say it was it was good for what we paid for you know what i mean pay, un, under five under 500 for the week and that's quite good for an all-inclusive holiday but like i say love is and bye <laughs>